Yeah, that's just a data issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
kind of seems to point at the business market being easier to solve. So we started looking into that because as it says uh, here, or what we wanted to do was to have them choose that service because it's the best and easiest solution. Yeah. Uh, and basically our goal is to create a change in mobility habits, uh, to make an attractive uh, service and to make our team learn about combined mobility so that we can use it for the private market. Because taking all those learnings and then kind of uh, putting it on top of that uh, private market is the interesting one. And what we're trying to do is uh, give Basically, it's almost like making a travel reimbursement service for them. Uh, so it's a combined mobility service, kind of disguised as a travel reimbursement form, because after talking to a lot of uh, employees, people really hate travel expenses. To, at the end of the month, sit down with a Excel sheet or a travel system, administrative system, go through your receipts, write on them, etc., etc. So we figure out if we can use that as a base and then start pushing people toward public transportation, that was a good way of approaching this uh, solution. And what we've uh, started with here is the, the process, and uh, we're, uh, I think we're up in here, here at the moment. And of course, this is, they're all kind of ongoing, uh, all at the same time. But uh, we're far along with getting some kind of prototype in the hands of users. We've uh, had, uh, I think we've had four iterations of prototypes. Uh, I think there's more, but yeah, maybe. Somewhere there. And basically, we're using a lot of different methodology to figure out this because this is a complex system. Basically, we have to figure out the actor's map. How does all these kind of things fit together? And this is basically from the employee use some kind of mode of transportation until they get their money back. And then we have to figure out that we only have to work here, of course, but we need to understand the process. Then we make a blueprint on who does what and when uh, to again figure out where we need to focus our resources. We create uh, personas, uh, different kind of uh, personas for people needing to use that kind of service. This is this Tina. And down their pocket and then at the end of the month they pull it up as a big pile of receipts. So then we figure out what if we can take care of that point where when they order that taxi or if they order that public transportation ticket or whatever, that receipt goes automatically to administration and it's done. They don't have to think about that receipt again. And first off, that's that's nice because we can then push people to public transportation, but the amount of money people use on the administration of receipts, uh, there was an, I think it was an EU survey about a year or two years ago, uh, that for every invoice or every receipt into a company, it costs about 20 euros. So you have a receipt of 10 euro for a taxi, mm -hmm. that costs the company 30. So if we can automate that process for them, of course the value in money for the business is extreme and that's kind of, then you kind of hit on those points. And uh, so we'll do a translation here on the quote. Uh, and this kind of hints at the and, and this is different from country to country, but in, in, the, in Norway, a lot of businesses are focused on cars, not public transportation. And as this uh, employee said, it is, it's, for a long time it annoyed me that colleagues that drives cars gets benefit from our company. They get company car, parking, taxi card, etc. 
but I, who travel with tra public transportation, gets nothing. So to get the solution like this, where what we actually do here is we 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 change the process. So when you use your monthly travel card, your private monthly travel card, you get reimbursed. So if a ticket costs 33 kroner, but I actually I don't pay anything because I have my monthly card, you'll get reimbursed from the company. So that's kind of turning it upside down so that you're now getting funded to use public transportation. It's it's not only cheap, it's actually free money for me as an employee. And then you get the same thing for the employers, because they also see that they need to develop sustainable solutions. And this was one of the purchase managers at one of the companies that we talked to that says, this is a really fair solution for our employees that choose to travel with public transportation. So he actually wants to do this to keep that. And of course he does, because from using a, a taxi car that might cost 150, 200 knock a trip to 33 knock a trip, the savings on that is incredible as well. So this is our uh, prototype that we've been out uh, testing. This was the first Uh, uh, but basically it's uh, bike sharing, it's uh, public transportation, and uh, car parking, and electric car charging. That's all that's in this solution, and some kind of statistics to show people how good they're doing. Just to add in if you want to. I think you're doing great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is really interesting. <laughs> Now this is the second uh, iteration, and now we're kind of, and, and this, it brings up a whole area of different problems because as a public transport authority with all the regulations we have, it's very hard to manage the different legal obligations or requirements or, uh, what's the word, uh, the stuff that are kind of put on top of us that we have to follow. We have to follow a lot of legal obligations, which means how can we work with other commercial actors, commercial transportation, Hertz, Avis, uh, stuff like that. And we've actually gone through a lot of processes with our legal department to be able to kind of give people the option of using that in this prototype mm -hmm. as well. So there's a lot of different aspects to solving this. Yeah, and this is just basically quotes uh, from different businesses and employee, uh, employees uh, saying how they want a solution like this. And it also s tells people that where the pain points are, if we are going to offer public transport or mobility as a service, these are the pain points that people really, really hate. Like, I don't have time to to change buses or go from tram to bus to metro, then I'll just grab a taxi. So we need to give them services that kind of gives that flow journey again. <laughs> and this is uh, awesome. Uh, we have talked to a lot of young users and they, they have this feeling that they want to use sustainable transportation. But it takes a little longer than going in a taxi, and it's a little more inconvenient. And some of those people actually stay longer at work to make up for the time they use during work to travel. So they're doing this in the company service, but still they feel obligated because they chose a worse way of travel. Yeah, and then they figure out that uh, employees prefer to spend their travel time working. And uh, I'm on a stuck metro to do a lot of work. So, again, how do we solve that? <laughs> and here we uh, come to the point of people really, really hate to do their travel expenses. It's really, really boring. 
And we also see, and that's kind of where we came up with the hypothesis that, okay, let's pay them for it, because people use their card, and they don't want to be, they don't even want to use, or get reimbursed because it's so cheap, that why should I do it? I'll just click through because yeah, the, this is our uh, not final, but our uh, the, the most current uh, iteration of our prototype. Uh, now we're starting to get some uh, colors and uh, graphics on there as well. So it's uh, getting to be closer to something we are going to use out on real customers. Yeah, that's basically. And this is our more theory yeah. new, uh, vision because we see that there's a market here and we don't want to be humble about it. There's no reason to be humble about it. No, and people get paid to travel with yeah. public transport. It's pretty cool. Thing. That's an awesome deal. Yeah. Okay. Questions or uh, final section? We're a bit over time. Stuff. Uh, yeah, we're a bit over time. Any questions while he uh, 